Welcome beautiful Paris Saint-Germain family. In today's video, we're going to discuss will Luis Campos be leaving Paris Saint-Germain and potentially being replaced by Paolo Maldini as the new sporting director of Paris Saint-Germain. Obviously, yesterday some news came out and we're going to read through them, all of them here. First one here, Luis Campos is criticized for his recruitment has also been weakened by the situation between Kylian Mbappé and PSG's management. The subject of Campos' future has been of much talk behind the scenes since the defeat to Bayern on March the 8th. Justin, Luis Campos could be pushed out of the club as early as September. He's closing in on an exit from PSG. Luis Campos' future is in doubt as PSG, his transfer window, the setbacks linked to Mbappé's renewal, etc. No decision has been made yet by his camp. Campos' position is weak and confirms. Luis Campos was not in favor of excluding Mbappe from the Japan tour, but he had to comply with Nasser Khalifi's decision. Nasser's decision to exclude Mbappe was fully supported by Doha. Luis Campos' recruitment, the Mbappe on renewal file, his proximity to Jorge Mendes, all these pushed PSG to consider his departure. Campos know he could have shown the door and has even confident in private to several of his acquaintances. The future of Luis Campos is uncertain. Nasser Khalifi is very angry with Campos due to many reasons. Mbappe, the different players wanted by both Jorge Mendes, Nasser would not welcome the influence and grip of Jorge Mendes in the locker room. Nasser Khalifa wanted to rely on Luis Campos to put pressure on Mbappe's clan after his letter. However, Campos was very measured later during a tense meeting. Nasser Khalifi asked Campos if he worked for PhD or for Mbappe's entourage. Very interesting. Luis Campos explains that he has no intention of resigning if Mbappe leaves. However, the situation becomes unattainable, then he will not hang on. Luis Campos has a lot of influence in certain fights. Nasser Khalifa has taken some fights into his own hands. The deals for Lucas Hernandez, Dembele and Xavi Simons return were all secured by Nasser. Harry Kane and Randall Kulumwani are worked on by Nasser as well. Luis Enrique Luis Campos work in good intelligence. Enrique expressed during his negotiations specific ideas on his tactical intentions. Position play 4 3 3 energetic attacking profiles on the wing. Campos took note of this and adapted his targets accordingly. A PSG spokesperson on today's rumors of Luis Enrique and Luis Campos. The rumors today are as ridiculous as they are out of place. Reports suggesting Luis Enrique could resign and Luis Campos could be fired are not correct. Paris views these stories as attempts to destabilize the club. PSG dismissing the recent stories on both Luis Enrique and Luis Luis Campos is complete nonsense. A PSG spokesperson told Fabrizio Romano and Luis Enrique considering to leave PSG. Today's rumors are so ridiculous as they are completely out of place. And lastly, from Andy and Rubia, Luis Campos could well take the door in September. His relationship with NAC is more than strained, and the arrangements with Mendes represent the main reason for his potential dismissal. Maldini was questioned in July. And here are the reports about Maldini. PSG have not made any offers to Paolo Maldini. Despite the recent rumors, there is still no contact between Paolo Maldini and Paris Saint Germain. No offer has been made either. PSG leaders have told confidence. And Luis Campos. Just in former AC Milan technical director, Paolo Maldini has received offers from the Italian national team and Paris Saint Germain. The precise positions he would hold are not yet known. Maldini has not yet made any decision. So, a lot to unpack there. So, in the beginning, a lot of reports came out that Luis Campos would leave Paris Saint Germain as early as September. Then, obviously, reports came out denying that. So, I don't think Luis Campos will leave now. I don't think Luis Campos will even leave at the end of this window. Even though PSG community before released an exclusive that said if Mbappe leaves, Luis Campos will follow him. So we will have to wait until Kylian Mbappe leaves to see if that report was true. But one thing that is 100% certain is the friction between Nasser Khalifi and Luis Campos. Nasser Khalifi has obviously worked with many sporting directors before. Clivert, Antonio Enrique, who's still working at the club. Leonardo, obviously. And now Luis Campos. But he's never had this bad of a relationship with the sporting director as he's had with Luis Campos. I think a lot of it is due to Kylian Mbappé. Nasser believed bringing Luis Campos, who was previously the sporting director of Monaco when Mbappé was playing there, would help Kylian Mbappé extend. Obviously, he helped him extend last summer. But now when we're trying to extend him, he has not helped. And he feels sometimes maybe Luis Campos is working for Mbappé rather than Paris Saint-Germain. In recent situations, as we saw by the report, Nasser has taken some fights into his own hands, like the Lucas Hernandez, the Xavi Simons, and so on, which makes Luis Campos have much less influence in the squad. But the report talking about Luis Enrique and Campos' relationship just shows that if Luis Campos leaves at the end of this season, at the end of this summer transfer window, whenever he leaves, it's due to his relationship with Nasser Khalifi and not with his relationship with the new manager, Luis Enrique. My thoughts on this is, listen, Luis Campos, he's already done, I think, a lot at this club, positively and negatively. But if we're only looking at the transfer market, he signed a lot of players that will definitely have a bright future at Paris Saint-Germain. And that includes players like Vitinha, Nordi Mukiele, Milan Skriniar, you have Eke Tike, 
You have new signings from the season like Kang Ingli and Ugarte. And sure, we can talk about, wow, that's a lot of Jorge Mendes players and talk negatively about that. But I believe that these are great players, no matter who their agent is. And sure, Luis Campos would obviously want to call one of his most prominent agents. I mean, Leonardo had Mino Raiola, who brought Zlatan Ibrahimovic and Thiago Silva. Obviously, entirely different players and so on, but... Every sporting director has a good relationship with one or two certain agents. That has happened all the time. So I don't see it as that big an issue as other people see it. My biggest issues with Ligus Campos all the time has been what he did last year on the Galtier. I think he disrespected Galtier a lot when he came down to the pitch, talked with the players like he was the manager. I think that was really bad from Luis Campos and the so-called Mbappe situation at the moment. For example, he was against banning Mbappe from going to the preseason tour in Japan, which I disagree with. I think Mbappe deserves that. I want Mbappe out of this club as soon as possible. And I want Luis Campos to help us to get rid of the rat from Paris Saint-Germain. I know he has a good relationship with him, but if he takes the club before Mbappe, if he thinks what's best for the club, it's obviously selling Kylian Mbappé this summer and using that money for maybe a Pedri, Pedri Gonzalez. But lastly, one thing I want to end on. Listen, Luis Campos has been the sporting director of two prominent teams in Liga and who beat us to the Liga title. Monaco in 2017 and obviously Lille in 2020. But one thing important about both of these teams is Luis Campos was not at those teams for a very long time. He was there for a short time. And when they started getting success, it was after he went away. When they started balling at Monaco, it was the season after he had left. When they started balling at Lille, when Lille won the league over Paris Saint-Germain, that was after Luis Campos had already left Lille. And I believe Luis Campos, from a sporting director perspective in the transfer market, I think our squad is complete. I think if we finalize the deals of Dembele, Gonzalo Ramos, Colomani, Barcola, and adding another midfielder, I think there isn't that much to do at this Paris Saint-Germain squad because a lot of these players are 26, 27, and younger. So these are players that we're not going to be needing to replace. It's only Neymar, Verratti, and Marquinhos who are the old players in the squad. And Mbappe and Messi have already, already been replaced pretty much so i don't think there's that much to do with luis campos and if he really has a bad relationship with our president i think the best thing is that we depart in this situation obviously luis campos has done great stuff for this club has done some bad stuff but i'm not one of those agenda merchants who d doesn't look at the great stuff luis campos has done for this club so whether he leaves or stays i think i think i'm happy because the most important thing was what we're going to do in this transfer window this transfer window was big both Nasser and Campos have made this transfer window pretty much a perfect window where we have bought, upgraded the goalkeeper situation, the defense, the midfield, and the attack now. So a big applause to both of them. And if they really can't work together, we might need to find a new sporting director who potentially could be Paolo Maldini. That's been it from your boy PSG. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the PSG YouTube channel for daily Paris Saint-Germain content. And as usual, allez, allez, allez Paris.